All right, round two. We should have audio now. Apologize for that. Uh, we got new gear, and we got yes, something we special. Something super special for you guys. That means if this works. Oh, if this works. <laughs> if this works. I got to stop eating dinner. I ate dinner at like four. Not uh, delicious, but I ate too much. Anyway, if this works, boy, this is going to open up the door to a lot of very cool things here. And this may become more of a TV studio. Uh-huh. And cool th- this is a nice little setup going yeah. on here. So anyway, I'm hoping this works. Brand new gear, brand new software. Let's see if this works for us tonight. I'm excited. But it's not about the gear. Well, not that gear. It's about this gear right here. This is this the gear. Mantis. Uh, very Well, this is a SIG. But that little doodad right there is a Mantis. It's, it, what it does is it connects to your pistol, mm-hmm. your rifle, or your shotgun, and it trains you to be a better marksman. So uh, today, if you're going to go out and get ammo, good luck with that, right? Yeah, very hard to find. It's hard to find. Impossible to find, and if you do get it, uh, you, I mean, you used to spend, you know, 15, 18 cents around for 223. Uh, last time I saw it, which I was kind of poking to just see what was out there, it's over a buck a round. So it's very expensive. You're spending $25 for a box of 20 when you used to spend 60 bucks for 100 or whatever it was. I mean, it was really, really, it's gotten pretty crazy out there. So um, if you find it, great, but then it's very expensive to shoot. So how do you train? Well, that's where Mantis comes in. Um, the beautiful thing about this is you can dry fire. It don't have to use an air gun. You can use your actual firearm um, for your dry fire. You can live fire. You can practice all manner of places. Uh, if you're dry firing, especially like a, a CO2 gun like this is, you got blowback, which gives you a little bit of a felt recoil. Mm-hmm. Not like a real fire, not like a real pistol or a real firearm that way, but it does have some recoil. It gives you a kind of a good tactical feel um, or tactile. Tactile? Tactile? Tactile. Tactile. We're going to go with that. Tactile. <laughs> Tactile. Tactile feel. Uh, and so it, it's also very good that way. So you can get this. We throw a CO2 in this guy and shoot a lot of CO2. You can still get that. It's pretty cheap. 50 cents a cartridge, 50, 60 shots. Mm-hmm. And you're actually going to be able to see progress in your trigger time. And you need trigger time. If you're going to get better, you need trigger time. So I yep. let Cheryl... Because we did a video not too long ago. In fact, SHOT Show, she kicked all our butts. And, and that was a little bit of a sore spot. And I'm still recovering from that. So I thought I would practice for months and then have her come up here with no practice. That would be yep. fair, right? Yeah. It's like what big brothers do. Uh, but I said, all right, you pick whatever gun you want. And she's picked one. What did you pick? I picked the Glock. She picked the Glock. And why would you like the Glock over, say, like the SIG? Well, this one, I liked it because it was lighter and more compact. Okay. And it is smaller. If we hold these two together, you can see that it is definitely a smaller frame. And the beautiful thing about both of these guns is they are one-to-one replica. So Mm -hmm. same size. And the SIG actually is probably the same weight. It's pretty heavy. Uh, The Glocks are generally pretty light. So this also may be very close to the actual weight of this Glock. This is a... Glock 19. I can't, my, even with my glasses, I got my arms aren't long enough. Um, but this is a really nice compact gun. If this is something you carry with and you want to become really proficient, then you need trigger time. And if you can go to the range, you're going to spend a lot of money. Um, and you actually may not get the training. So here's what's so cool about the Mantis system. Um, Sue, I'm hoping that that other screen isn't goofy. Um, there, uh, why don't you switch over? Yeah, there we are. So this is the cool stuff we got today. So we got two cameras. That's four cameras. We got two cameras <laughs> and we got an HDMI feed from our tablet. So you're actually going to see real time what we're doing. Yes, I'm geeking out over this because it's very cool. Um, Hi. so <laughs> I'm going to kind of walk you through why I like the Mantis so much. And then we're going to do just a little training and you can see the instruction you get because just going and shooting, oh, here's my target. If you don't know why things are doing what they're doing, how do you really get better? Yeah. This gives you the why. Uh, at least it gives you a pretty good idea of what the why is, why you're pulling, why you're dipping, why you're, you know, why it's going not where you want it to go. And that's what you can, you know, that's what you got to practice on. And you can do it in your living room, okay? You don't have to go mm-hmm. to the indoor range and spend hundreds of dollars in ammo. You could just, 
do it in your living room. And the cool thing I found out about the Glock, like this one, for it to really cycle well and register, you got to have CO2 in it because it, it wants to feel that blowback. But this... That one... Doesn't need that. Yeah, this one, actually, you can just... And that actually registers with the mm -hmm. Mantis, which is so cool because you don't even need CO2 with that one. You just dry fire that. And it, and it works. So let's jump right in it. So what you should see here on the screen here is the Mantis uh, app on the, the tablet. And uh, if you have any questions in the midst of this, uh, just jump in. Sue will be, give us your question. She's got a mic. So uh, we can, we're happy to answer this question. We get to the end, we'll maybe have a Q&A on anything if we have time. All right, so the first thing you want to do is we're going to connect. I'll do my gun first, I guess. Before you do that, let me, i got to put CO2 in this one. So um, I don't. No, she doesn't. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I like that. Uh, it's great for you. Um, all right, so we'll put this on safe. So the cool thing about the SIGs, one, the way this works is actually, I think, patented, so it's very cool. Uh, you actually have that drop open like this. And they have a little roller bearing there. It makes it super easy to load your CO2. Um, a lot of the guns have like a Allen key or some other stuff. And I'm putting a little silicone on there uh, just to keep all the seals looped. That's what that is. And then you just go. Yeah, that is really easy compared to some of the other CO2 yeah. things I've seen you use. That is like butter. I love it. All right, so we are good to go here. Let's see. Safe. Okay, we're on safe. We're good to go. So I'm going to turn the Mantis on. So we just push that little button. We got a green blinky light. I don't know if you guys can see that green blinky light. Okay, then we hit connect on the app, and that's it. We're good to go. So it's that simple. Uh, I do want to set my gun up to make sure I have all the settings right. So we're going to hit the little gear down here, and then uh, I've got it right-handed CO2 backwards. Uh, and the backwards is, is this little guy here. Uh, depending on how it wants to mount on the gun, uh, there's settings for up top, bottom, front, back. So you know that your gun's going to register your movements accurately. You've got to make sure you do these settings right. And as good as that dinner was, it keeps coming back. So I apologize. <laughs> it was really good dinner. Man, I, and the dinner on, with a Pepsi on top, I'm just not sure that was a good idea. All right, so we got mount location bottom. It's backwards, CO2, right-handed. It's a pistol. I think we're good to go. Let's go over to the train button. And what I've been doing is I'm just hitting the open training. Okay, so uh, we've got CO2 here at the bottom. We've got right-handed and backwards, so I'm going to hit just start, right? And so I'm going to take it off safe. And the way this works, you don't need a target. Uh, you don't even need ammo. So just for giggles, there's no mag in here. It's, it's completely safe and empty. I'm going to aim it at a I'm going to pick a point on the wall over there uh, to the left of my wife, who is in front of me, uh, but just so she feels comfortable. Uh, Thank you. Way that way. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to aim at a point on the wall, and I'm going to just take a shot, and then this is going to register what happens during that shot, okay? So you should see it happen right on the screen. So I'm going to aim at my point. Okay, I got my grip good, right? Nice, high, tight grip, mm -hmm. firm grip. I got the, my support hand here. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze it off. Okay, so we had 89, which isn't bad, right? We want to be in the 90s. That's better. Uh, but if you look down at the bottom, it says possible causes. I'm slapping the trigger. Now, I don't know what that means, personally. It's a new one. I saw that today as I was playing, <laughs> and I'm not a trigger slapper, so I don't know what it's talking about. Uh, but I could go here, and it tells me I'm kind of doing like this. I'm not... I'm kind of slapping it, like they said. So if the gun mm -hmm. registers that I might be slapping it, then I need to adjust my trigger pull. So this is what Mantis does, and they're constantly yeah. updating this. Okay, so very, very cool. Now, this is open training. They have all kinds of pistol drills, drawing drills, uh, rapid-fire drills. They have everything to make you like an expert marksman very affordably. Super, super awesome. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to take another shot. Because 89 doesn't make me happy. I want 95. Let's see what we got here. Oh, very bad. Healing. Uh, okay, well, let's take a look at this. All right, so <laughs> healing is 
Oh, I do do that. Ah. <laughs> I do that. Exactly that. And actually, what's interesting on the on the X, it says don't do that. Um, I can actually see when I'm done my trigger, when I'm done my shot, I am sort of up and to the right uh, on, on my sight picture. So okay. I need to not do that. So now, let's see, to correct this issue, keep your dominant arm and shoulder in place to prevent any movement. Use a support hand to pull the arm fire directly, directly back towards your primary shoulder. And down, creating isometric tension in your arms to control the recoil. Well, let's see. Okay. Um, I also says I'm in anticipating recoil, which means I'm raising. I bet you it's more healing than anticipating recoil. But let's see. All right. So, whew, all, okay. kinds of, all kinds of bad habits here. <laughs> yeah, this thing is like so unbelievably sensitive. It really teaches you what it really shows you exactly what you're doing we got a question use the mic okay i have a question oh boy are i guess they come with a barrel no are okay. you picking the same spot on the wall to shoot at every time yeah it actually okay. doesn't matter i could aim it up and pull the trigger because what it's measuring is that fraction of a second when you pull the trigger Okay. So it doesn't – you don't have to aim at a particular point. I do because that helps me sort of know what I'm saying. Um, but you really don't have to. You can aim at whatever. I can aim at the camera. I'll do it on my next shot. I'll aim right at the camera, the little red dot. And fortunately, it's a brand-new camera, so it's unloaded, so I'm not going to shoot my camera. But I'm going to aim right at the camera. So here we go. Okay, tightening the fingers. So here's yet another – Deficiency in my shooting. Okay. Oh, wait. You still got my turn. Oh, oh, oh yes. No. Tightening fingers me. The grip is too tight. Okay. Uh, there's a point at which gripping the firearm harder will cause muscle tremor. Despite what it may seem, a firearm does not require the strongest possible grip in order to control it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we want to relax just slightly. So I got the healing under control, but now I'm gripping too hard. So I probably grip too hard to try and control the others. So this is all of the things you learn. We'll pick a different point so people don't get paranoid with me pointing their gun yeah, at probably it. Probably a good idea. Okay, how's that? Is that better? Let's try this one. <laughs> now I dipped on that. Two little finger. Okay. Okay, here we go. More. <laughs> oh, finally I quit. <laughs> <laughs> Great shot. Great shot. 95.5. We're going to go with that one. So when you do it right, it lets you know that you did it right, which is very cool. We're going to keep going there. We're going to do 10 shots. And then we're going to let Cheryl kind of go through the drill uh, and yeah. see how she does with it. All right, so I'm going to pick another point on the wall over here. Put that one right there. I did the healing. Uh, tightening, tightening grip. grip. Okay. Great shot. Good shot. Good shot. Healing. All right. Oh, that thing gets me every time. So cool thing about the SIG. One of the reasons I like this is the switchology, all the switches and stuff. It's got your safety. It should have dropped that. Anyway, I must have. Oh, okay. Oh, well, there you go. It is safe. I just expected the hammer to drop. Okay. What we're going to do now is I'm going to turn my mantis off. Da -da. Okay, and now we have our connect screen. Go ahead and turn yours on. And you got, she's got, show them the blinky green light. I don't think it's you. Blinky green light. Okay, now hit connect. Connected. Okay, now here's the cool thing. So I'm going to go to settings. I want to see something here. Okay, so we're at CO2 and we're at backwards. So we've got the same thing, but we actually need to change yours to just dry fire. Yes. Okay, so go ahead and hit dry. All right. And now we can go to train and we can go to open training. Okay, and hit start. Now, let's see how you do. I did not actually get my composite average. That was probably good because it's horrible. <laughs> um, but what we'll do is after this, we'll run it again. If you notice when we switched off, now, uh, you ever have to pair something with Bluetooth? Mm -hmm. It's a pain in the butt. Oh, my. Yeah. Okay. Did you have any problems with that? No, that was easy. Yeah. It actually is really smart. It's designed to be super simple. You can have multiple people using the same program. It'll actually track your progress. You can sign in and track your progress. Multiple people, you have to sign in. But 
is very, very cool. So I think that's kind of a, a very neat feature because you're not fighting that Bluetooth all the time. It just works. Okay, so you're ready. You're ready to go. So go ahead and okay. pick your spot. Oh, where should I go? Right there. Okay, bye, Sue. I can do that. Okay. All right, now I need to keep it closer yeah. and not lean back. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay, 92.1. She's doing it again. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, sometimes <laughs> I do very well or fantastically bad. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I go either or. Okay, didn't register that one. Try again. Okay. There it is. Oh, good shot. I'm tensing. <laughs> Take a breath. Okay, you're slapping the trash. Ah, she's slapping That's my turn. <laughs> Finally, she gets some criticism on her shooting technique. She's doing it again. It's all, it's like deja vu all over again. Here we are. I'm getting my butt kicked by my little sister. Go for it. <laughs> Tightening grip. Okay. Okay. Two more shots. I mean, uh, need we say more? Uh, it's pretty good, Cheryl. Um, yeah. Now, what you can do here... Um, <laughs> Watch me do really bad next no, time. No, <laughs> no. We stop right now. Um, this is great. But what you can do is you actually have a lot of feedback that you get from the app. So if mm -hmm. you look here, this is your average score was 90.4. If you're in the 90s, that's really, really good. I mean, that's really, really solid. Uh, higher than 90, when we were at SHOT Show, there were a lot of people in the 70s and the 80s. There were fewer people in the 90s. And, and what you'll find is this thing doesn't... This is just raw data, okay? So take yeah. ego out of the way. Take all of that stuff, all of the things you think about how awesome of a shot you are. You're going to take that 50-yard shot with a pistol and take the guy's tire off and see the movies. That doesn't really happen, okay? So right. the reality is this is just raw data. And if you will take that and absorb that, it can make you a better shot, okay? It can train you, which is what this is designed to do, to give you that, let you know what's going on, why it's happening, so you can get better. And you can do it for pennies, so oh, little money. You can just sit there and practice and practice and practice and practice. All right, so here's some of the feedback. You have just your basic shot, shot score here. And then here's, that's about the target she was shooting, and that is pretty much dead center. I mean, really, that's pretty good. Um, and then you have, you can go through, is this every shot it tells you? Or no, these are all your various shots. Okay, and then we get to here, and now you can actually go and see your movement for each shot. Mm. Now, if Austin was here, <clears throat> he would tell us what all those little squigglies mean. Yeah. And I'm not quite sure what they all mean, <laughs> but if he was here, he could tell us every little thing that means, and I'm sure they actually walk through that on the app. I, I think he might have even mentioned it on your shot show video. I think he did. And that may be what we've – oh, that's your – if you move your gun around now, look at that. Oh, wow. So that is what – that point it and take a shot. Let's just see what it looks like real time. So hold as steady as you can. Oh, gosh. <laughs> not, not real steady. All right, so get real steady. All right. Okay, so you can see – I mean, she's holding. Let me try it. I'm going to try it. Let me try. All right, so this is real steady. Um, you can see how amazingly sensitive this thing is. Yeah. I mean, just barely any movement. I, it, man, it takes a lot of discipline to hold it that still. But that's what you get. Just raw data, 
solid feedback. Now we need to have a competition. So I'm going to stop. Okay, then you turn the button off. Go ahead and turn the button off. And I'm going to turn mine on. Okay. You ready? Uh, yeah. I might have been sandbagging. <laughs> I might have been purposely screwing up, but uh, probably not. All right, here we go. Ten shots. Yes. Question. She did better than you. You should let her go first. Oh, no, let him go first. No, she wants me to go first. <laughs> I know my sister. She would like me to go first. All right, are we ready? Are we ready? I think so. Here we go. Okay, here we Ready? Are cheat. you? I'm going to take, make sure I put my safe, take my safety on. I'm going to cock it. See that? I'm cheating mm -hmm. already. I'm sandbagging. I'm like getting that first trigger, <laughs> trigger pull easy so I don't have to work so hard on that first one. Screw up my average. Ah, oh, I did it again. Okay. Oh, it's well, we got shots. seven shots. Yeah, it didn't give me. It didn't capture it. Okay, <laughs> let's try again. Okay, I had to breathe. On. Can I do some more 97 fives? Nope. Eight shots. Nine. Nine. Oh, I didn't get that last one. Okay, hold on. <sighs> breathe. Breathe. Oh, I was having a hard time getting there. All right, hold on. One more, one more, one more shot here. It's not getting my last shot here. I'm gonna let that cool down or warm up a little bit. I might have been firing a little fast for that CO2. Mm. And I need to breathe. Between a lot of dinner and holding your breath. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more shot here. If this doesn't get it, we'll just move on. Nope. Give me one more shot. It ain't going to do it. So we're going to stop. All right. So my average was 87.3. That's not great. It means I need to do some work. My wife is smiling. What are you smiling about? I'm not smiling. I'm shocked. You're shocked. Oh, that was a shocked look. I thought there was glee in your smile that you no. had over there. No, no. All right. <clears throat> Cheryl's turn. 80, Appreciate Cheryl. 80, ah. It was 87.3. Was it 97.4? Was that 87.3? Hey, okay. <laughs> yeah, she's not going to let you get away with that one. Okay, here we go. All right. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh! Yeah, connect. You go ahead and just shoot away, Cheryl. <laughs> you go ahead and shoot right away. Okay. Okay. Oh, you know what I did do? What did you oh, do? I know what I did. I know what I did. What did you I do? What I, did. I forgot we... to go to the settings. Oh. Do you want to redo? I do. I want to do over. All right. Let me, let me turn <laughs> it off. All right. Yes. We're going to disconnect. Do over. do over. I'm off. I don't know if I have enough CO2. All right. I got, I got 10 shots in me. I know I do. All right. So okay. this is why you got to remember to go check your settings. <laughs> settings. More. CO2 blowback. Ba -da -dee -da -da -dum. There it is. That would explain that would do a lot. It. That's going to get it done. Now watch me suck just as bad. <laughs> All right. Here we go. All right. So there. Now my safety decocker work. Look at you guys. Oh, there it is. All right. All right. Here we go. Remember to breathe. <laughs> I need to, I don't know what to do. Here we go. You guys ready? All right, I'll count for you to make sure you get them all. Oh, aren't you sweet? Okay. Here we go. One. Two. Eight, nine, ten. Oh man, that was awful. I was really breaking bad, wasn't I? 
Okay. Let her breaking wrist up. Ooh, okay, stop. 85.7. Not good, Rick. Not good at all. <sighs> so very sad. <laughs> very sad. All right, safety. Okay. I'm going to turn mine off. All right, Cheryl. All right. My other score was better. All right. Let me go ahead and connect. Okay, got to remember to hit the buttons. Yeah, and watch. I'll show you a little trick. Yes, we have a question. Um, Tim Oliver said he saw this on SHOT Show recently. And how much is this outfit, and will it work via laptops? It's going to need an, an app. It works with an Android or Apple app. So if you have a smartphone, it works on a smartphone. I had hooked it up to... Uh, both my iPhone and my Samsung phone earlier. I'm using my iPad because it was the most stable with our uh, HDMI cable into the computer with the picture-in-picture the -picture thing we got going on. But it, it worked with uh, any any device like that. I don't think it works with a PC or, or a Mac. It's got to be an Android or Apple device. Uh, cost, they have different models. Uh, I think they top out, forgive me if I have this wrong, but I think they top out around 250, and I might be high, just kind of buffer. Um, but they start at 99, I think. But check it now. They do have a new product coming out, which I wish I had it to show you. But as soon as they have it available, I will show you. And that is a kit that drops in your AR. Oh yes. And it has a laser, so you actually see the shot, which is awesome. And when you pull the trigger, it resets the hammer. So mm -hmm. it actually has a me mechanical system inside. You just drop it in your AR. You re replace your carrier bolt group, and you drop it in there. And the magazines, the battery, it's just so cool. Uh, that's going to be out shortly. And as soon as that's out, I cannot wait to get one. Because if you want to practice your AR, uh, this, this will actually do that for you as well. So that should be coming out shortly too. So check their website. Uh, but it is a great training tool so light so friendly mm -hmm. i want to use this and i mentioned this on my video before i want to use this to practice for bench rest so you can okay. mount it on your on your air gun your rifle and it will give you the same feedback it'll give you the same data what's happening you tell it you're shooting a rifle its orientation on the gun and it will give you all that feedback as well so if you're going to really want to get really, really good, this thing gives you that. Just raw data to tell you what you need to do to get better. We have another question? So this is for air guns only? No, this is for firearms. This is for primarily firearms. Um, we use it on air guns because they're a great training tool. Uh, but if you go in the settings here, uh, we have here on the CO2, or on the other options, I should say, you have dry fire, live fire. Uh, you have actually they have a SIG uh, 320 dry fire setting specific for that. But when you see dry fire and live fire, that's actual firearms. It's designed to go on an AR or on a shotgun or on a live firearm pistol. It works with CO2 guns, which is great from a training perspective and keeping the costs way down. Any other questions? Uh, Tim says, thank you. Not a bad price, but please keep us informed with rifle footage. Yeah, I think the rifle thing is going to be very cool. And we might yeah. be able to tag up on that one, too. That would be kind of cool. That'd anyway, let's get you doing this. So I'm going to show you something. Right here we're on CO2. I'm going to show you something. We'll go back here. Okay. And we hit the train. We hit the open training. And you notice you have the little CO2 guy right there. Mm -hmm. You can pick that, and it goes to dry fire. So oh, you isn't that nice? Right there. Exactly. Okay? I like that. So you are all set. Ah, uh, okay. You ready? Now, I had like a 98-something, so no pressure. I'll count your shots, Sherry. Okie dokie. Here we go. Oh, I'm on safe. There you go. Oop. One. Oh, too much trigger finger thumbing. Thumbing, that's when you're pushing your thumbs over. Um, you want to see what it, you want a picture of it? Yes. See, right here, it's your, when you push, when you grip too tight on your thumbs and it causes the gun to push, yeah, that's you what do the that. thumb is. Yeah. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Two? You want to quit? No, let her finish. <laughs> Don't jinx it! <laughs> Why did 
I get the feeling you're going to like I'm not, I'm or not, something. No, I am, I am not going to interfere <laughs> with a girl with a gun. I'm okay. not going to mess with that. Four. Five. Six. Oh! I don't think you got one that low. <laughs> that was bad. That was really bad. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay. That was still very good. Now let's see the average. Oy. Oh, you still killed me. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was good. I mean, you had one kind of get away from you. Um, oh, yeah. But really get away from you. You had a bunch that were 95 and up. So you can imagine the more you, more time you take with this, the more you practice. And again, it takes no time at all. You throw the app on your phone, mm -hmm. right? I mean, you don't need to have this rig set up. You need your phone and your, your test gun and you can practice or your rifle or whatever you're going to use. You don't need a lot. You need the device, something to shoot with, and your smartphone. Yeah. And you could be training. That's it. So, guys, that's it. I hope that's been useful. Today's kind of climate where yeah, – it. have you been to the range lately? I mean I have my own range. So I can say yes. I go every day. But I am – I'm not average. I have a 100-yard range. I can just walk out there. It's my range. I own it. It's mine. Well, I don't have to think about other people being out there. It's just my range. No. That is not normal. Okay? So – When's the last time you went down to the local gun range and spent some time training, not just shooting tin cans, but actual training? There's a difference between just shooting stuff up and training. This is a training tool, and it gives you that ability to use it in your home. Would you switch back over to our other camera there? We're going to wrap up here. All right, guys, that's it. I hope this has worked out well for you. Cheryl, did you have fun? I did. And you kicked my butt. Yet again, <laughs> I've got to practice much, much more. You know what's funny? What's that? I don't even really do shooting. No, I, I know. I I'm edit shooting. the videos of you shooting. It's sad. Right. <laughs> and she wants shoots. to know what you gave Cheryl to be live on camera. He's the Just boss. Just me. I mean, she gets to stand next to me, right? I know. That's really – I had to pay her extra for that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't shower before. So she's – Believe me, she's paying the price uh, by the minute. Uh, no, it, Cheryl's a great sport, and she did a great job at SHOT Show for me, and she does a great job doing all the video editing. In fact, if you guys have enjoyed the videos this year, uh, this is the one that's doing all that work. So you guys can say thank you to Cheryl because she's doing a lot of work for me, and I can't thank her enough. Guys, that's it. You interested in doing some training? Want some real data? Kind of – Take the ego, throw it away, and actually learn something. It's kind of good to know. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't mind losing to a girl <laughs> if I learn something. Uh, and now I know. I know what I got to work on, and I have the tools yeah. to go do it. Guys, that's going to be it. My name is Rick Hitzler, and I've got Cheryl. Yep. His sister. Thank you, guys. See us again. Come back and watch <laughs> us some more. Two weeks, we'll have another show. See ya.